great day today, no? just come from the um, debrief. We just had the debrief after the race and I literally rushed straight from here so I haven't seen him. But and he's, congratulations. He's been working all weekend. Like he, he was, um, I think he was on set this morning filming with Brad for the movie. So, Brad, so he's going to be in the new, in the F1 movie which is pretty cool. Have you remember all his lines? <laughs> Have you seen his stuff on, on, uh, on Instagram? Oh yeah, he barks on cue. Yeah, but I just want to make sure he's doing yeah, he the does. right work. He does. I don't want to get that wrong. Uh, he'll be doing a lot of snoring tonight, that's for sure. Lewis, let's get back to you. Congratulations. What an incredibly successful weekend you made of it here in Silverstone. We are so thrilled to see you up on that podium. Yeah, if I'm really honest, guys, you know, yesterday, when I, when I came here yesterday, I didn't feel good at all. And after seeing all of you, it really lifted me up. And, um, we did, the, we did the parade lap today and I got to see all of you. I knew that you guys were with us and, and um, that's honestly there's something so special about being here racing in front of you and you will never fully truly understand it obviously because we're in two, we're, you know, you can't be in the car with me physically but uh, you're right there with me in spirit throughout the race and I just want to say big, big, big thank you. who you support you are, you are the community of this sport you you are the ones that make these weekends what they are so you know thank you all for traveling out here for you know everyone with the caps no matter what team you got McLaren did amazing yeah I see you we should probably touch on the McLaren wow that car was fast today Yeah. Fun for us to watch, wasn't it? It's crazy because Lando said that um, when he started watching, he was seven, so that's what, like 2000 or something like that. And um, it's amazing to see his journey and for him to be here. You know, he's a future world champion for sure. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep working hard to keep him on his toes for a bit. And, um, you know, we've got more to come. I mean, that's what I would call a kind of McLaren Mercedes club sandwich that happened because we had Lando, we had you, we had Oscar, and then George. Quite delicious, really. <laughs> Toasted with lettuce. And, and ham. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I don't really... <laughs> um, yeah, it was amazing to see that we had, obviously, the McLarens and the Ferraris, and I, I really didn't expect to be up on the podium today. And, and the, you know, the safety cars haven't been on very good for me for the last, like, year or so. so today, I was grateful to have the benefit of the safety car. Uh, the strategy in the morning was I decided to go on the medium and go long. So I was going to go to lap 50 or something on that tire and hope for a safety car. And it came out. So um, I'm, I'm super grateful for it. It's amazing when it all comes together so perfectly. And I think this weekend has to have you appearing here with this massive dance that goes on forever. It's so hot. Can I help you with your jacket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so warm. <laughs> Yeah. So what's next? Is there someone performing up there? Are you guys raving or what's going on? <laughs> Lewis, going back to the Instagram with Roscoe, how did you teach your dog to bark? It wasn't me, it was Kirsten. It's the lady that you see with her. But um, yeah, uh, Roscoe, he didn't, he didn't wake up in the middle of the night, which is good, so I got to go to sleep, finally. And um, yeah, but that's my son, you know, so I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> It's, in, it's, in, it's just incredible how many dog lovers and animal lovers there are out in the world, you know, so... Can you tell us a little bit, a bit about his daily life here at F1? 
How has he been pampered? What kind of attention I mean, has he been getting? One how of many the most pampered dogs I can imagine. I mean, he, he gets he gets um, acupuncture and I don't know. The guy's like gets therapy every week. The guy is <laughs> he's definitely uh, he's got a good doctor and a, and, a, and a good support system back home. Almost better than mine. What is your support system like? It's, I'm very very lucky. There's all the people in the background that you don't get to see, but obviously within the race team. I have so many people, there's over a hundred people here, but my own personal team is between London and New York. I've got Ellen, who's been my assistant for like 18 years, so she's been with me since the McLaren days. Um, there's a bunch of people within the team who have been with me since I was at McLaren. I've got this guy, Steve-O, that you see on the grid with me. He was on my gearbox at McLaren in my first year, and every race he's been with me, and he now has come off gearbox. He joined me with Mercedes. and. So, um, and I've got Penny, I've got a whole amazing crew behind me that are, that are helping with the merch, um, helping with all the different projects I have, so. And Lewis, you were telling us just the other day uh, how you had a lot of family here, you had a lot of friends here. How yeah. has it been to enjoy having them at the racetrack with you? If one, I've only seen my, my niece and nephew today. Um, just before the race. Um, after this, I'm gonna go and see my family. They're all back in the motorhome. So I'll, get, I'll only get like a few minutes with them before I head back to London because I've got a, a busy day tomorrow. But uh, this is, you know, having the British Grand Prix and having your family be able to drive up is the best. And when the sun is shining in the UK, there's no better day. Right? So. Lewis, how are you gonna celebrate this result? Oh no, I'm gonna get up and train hard tomorrow. I wanna win. <laughs> grateful for now but we hit it harder tomorrow and what I've got to do is got to get into the to the factory and we've got a lot of work we need to we need to reshift it you know shift the arrow on this car the high speed is where we're losing the performance if we can have the performance of the McLaren in a high speed we will be right back there so we're going to catch those guys up so can you just indulge us talk to us a little bit about your routine coming up the routine coming up. I, you're saying you're going to be very busy, but we want to get a little I mean, bit into the nitty gritty of your No, Hamilton. I'm always busy. I mean, I, tr I try to train twice a day, so I train around 6 a.m. in the morning, and then I'll be at the factory, or we have shoots each day. We have, I think, Thursday and Friday, we have shoots, commercial shoots, and one on Saturday. I think I've got Monday and Tuesday off. Um, oh, sorry, Tuesday and Wednesday off, which I'm grateful for. Then we go to, I think, Prague. We get to travel a bit, and then we're back here, uh, back in the factory next week on the sim pushing again for, um, but we'll be holding some big meetings and in those meetings are gonna be pretty tough. We need, to, we need to apply the pressure. Everyone's working so hard anyways, but. You know, it would be amazing to, to be back up, up front fighting with those guys um, and fighting for wins at some stage, so that's our goal. And this weekend has really helped recharge you, hasn't it? Today has helped recharge me. And seeing all of you has helped recharge me, so. To all you back there, I don't know if you can see me, but thank you also so much. Um, thank you for continuous support all these years, 17 years with you guys. Let's, uh, let's keep pushing. I'll be back next year, right? Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Let's take a picture.